Hi everyone, this is V. Welcome back to my channel. So today, what are we gonna do? So today is the first video of the series. What? Why? How? It's gonna be about acrylic painting. So what is it? Why do people use it and how can we use it? Because people, when they want to start their own creative stuff, they have usually in mind an image, a kind of paint, or they have his favorite artist, they want to do the same thing and everything and all that. But this is important to know. Is acrylic good for you? Because this is really important. So this is why there's oil, watercolor, pastel, ah, ah, yeah, ah, so much stuff. So much. It's all gonna be about acrylic painting. So if you want to know if acrylic painting is good for you or just curious about it, just keep on watching and let's go. Okay. So first, I want to uh, give you a short historic uh, explanation about the acrylic. What is it? Let's be historic for a moment. So what do I know is uh, at first the old painting was is really 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 old. It, it has a lot of history uh, in the artistic uh, world. But for the acrylic, it was more of a late bloomer. It was created in the 20th uh, century, uh, more precise in the end of 20, 1920s, and it was more um, visible in the art world. I think in the late 40s when the pop culture. Uh, the art pop culture was created and the artists like Andy Warhol, the Rolling Schoenstein and they used a range of acrylic to do what they want to do and after in the late uh, 50s you actually know acrylic was more uh, used with the artists uh, in the abstract culture for like for example Barnett Newman, Rodko Jackson Pollock was really popular because of the use of the acrylic that he, that he did. And in the late 60s you have optical art uh, for example, the artist Bridget Riley uh, was using acrylic colors to do a pretty phenomenal uh, optical illusion. This is an example right here. I really like uh, Bridget Riley because it was one of my inspiration uh, as an artist. And this is why for myself, I choose acrylic because it was more, it was better for me. It was better for me. And I'm, I'm going to show you if it's working for you. Okay, so let's start. What is it? Okay, so what is acrylic? So at first I just want to explain to you the formula of it uh, really, really quick uh, because uh, when you know the formula, you actually uh, understand how it works after. So in the formula, there's a really, really a lot of stuff in it, but the three principal thing in it is the pigment. You have the water and you have the polymer that's the binder of it because when you have pigment in a formula, it's really important to have a great binder because the pigment won't stick. If you have just water and pigment, it won't stay together, so the color won't be... Uh, won't be beautiful, won't be as bright as with a pine, with a binder. This is why this there is a polymer. So how does it work? It's when you paint on a canvas, the after times the water evaporates, so the pigments and the polymer stays together and the color is so beautiful and stay really, 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 really long. I understand everything now. Uh, the normal uh, texture that you have for acrylic is this one. So this is in, in an example in a tube. Uh, this is the company PVO. Uh, you can also have uh, the same texture in a jar, but it really depends on the company, but it's, it's actually the same, same, same texture. Uh, I really compare it with mayo because, it, <laughs> yes, it's pretty funny because uh, I really think it's like mayo because it stays together as you spray as you pour it on, but when you spread it, it spreads so much easy. Let's see if that's right. And also with times, uh, as they event product, they also uh, made uh, change the formula of the acrylic to be more to have different kind of texture. So you have the normal one. It's uh, that they tell it's high viscosity, but there's company that call them 
everybody one so the everybody is just a little bit more thicker than the regular one um, so if you want just do uh, abstract or just want to uh, see your your paint stroke the everybody it's perfect for you also the um, they create a fluid one a fluid kind so this is an example of a fluid acrylic um, the trick to know if it's a fluid or a normal one you just have to shake your bottle when you hear the paint moving in a bottle, that does mean it's a fluid one. Uh, why do people use the fluid one? It's because uh, for people that, for example, for me, that don't really uh, uh, graphic uh, style, don't want to see the brush strokes, don't want to have problem uh, for spraying them, want to want to do abstract, want to uh, splash painting, want like Jackson Pollock. This is the uh, texture that you need. So why people use it? So this is for there is four reasons I can tell why people that why acrylic is good for you. So the first reason is that it's a fast drying paint. <gasps> fast drying. Me personally, I don't want to wait that it dries. I'm really impatient. I want to work. I want to paint. I'm, I want to put paint on it. I want, don't want to be stressed. Uh, I'm a quicker. I'm a quick uh, painter. Um, I don't want to be stressed at the end of the day that my paint won't be dry, so I can uh, I can take it to my friends and show it to them. So uh, if you're a person that really likes to do a lot of project or just is just impatient uh, and it's okay uh, uh, I feel like it's perfect for you because it literally fa it, it literally dries in 10 to 20 minutes and if you do a thicker uh, a thicker uh, layer it takes about an hour to maybe a day uh, so it's really really quick besides of the old painting for example it takes about three months to dry so it's so uh, it's so much difference the second reason why people use them is because because there's water in the formula it, that is mean that you can wash your brush with water yes so you don't need you don't have to um, be complicated, you're done with your paint, you just go to the sink, you take your water and your soap and you wash your brushes with that and that's it because when it, there's water in it, the the quantity of the binder uh, will be really, really, really changed so the pigment won't stick. So this is why the pigment goes out of your brushes. So, so this is this is perfect for um, people that are don't really like to wash brushes because me, personally, I hate to wash them. The third reason why people uh, like them, it's, uh, it's, a perfect, it's a cheap uh, paint. What I mean by that is that you don't need a lot of material that, for working with it. So you only need the paint, the brush and the water because you don't need actually brush cleaner. a brush cleaner. You don't need a medium to work with them. You only need the paint. That's it. So for someone, it's more of a budget side. Um, acrylic, it's perfect for you because you don't need a lot of things at first. Uh, the fourth reason why people use it uh, is because it's so much flexible. You don't mean? Oh, I mean. What I mean by flexible is that you want it to be more fluid. You want it to be more thicker. You want it to put sand on it. Can I put a picture on it? And the answer is yes. Yeah! yeah! Because artists wanted to have this product, but make it um, more of a versatile kind of paint. So the uh, so the company, for example, Gordon uh, Liquitex, was trying to make some product to change the acrylic in a way that the artist can explore everything. So if you're a person that really likes to do a lot of stuff, like the mixed media, uh, want to put picture on it, want to glue something on it, want to put texture, want to put anything that you want, um, the acrylic it's perfect for you. And there's so much product, so it it will be really. Uh, uh, it will be really surprising to me that you won't find something that you like with the acrylic. So one of these four is a really good reason to take the acrylic. So how do you use it? Pretty much simple. You take the paint out of the tube, you take your brushes and you do one stroke. Simple as that. Uh, and when you're done, you take your brush, put in the water and that's it. This is the only way that you can, this is the this is the simplest way that you can use it. Uh, some, so you are coming. Oh, that's it. Uh, is there's more? Yes, there's more. But if I, uh, I there's gonna be another video about it because there's so much thing that you can know about it. 
So that's it for the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Uh, so we learned about acrylic painting. What is it? Why do people use it? And how do we use it? And there is gonna be another video on my channel about the medium because as I told you earlier, the acrylic is so flexible and there is so much product that you can use. This is so beautiful. So there'll be another video on that. And also there'll be another video on the different kind of company that I know that what you can use besides student uh, company and more of an artist company so uh, what which one can you use and uh, why they are more expensive so there will be a lot of video on the acrylic I wanted to do this one first so you will know if acrylic is the painting for you uh, because as you know when you start it's really important to take uh, the, the good uh, medium for you depending on what you like and so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed, come to the family because here we learn art without being so serious. Because art is fun! Bye guys!